to yourself. How long have you been at Toastmasters? I think about 10 years. I started with a different club when I was working at City Hall, and you can see what the city thinks, because there was a club that met at City Hall at lunchtime, so it was very convenient and a lot of fun. Capital Park? Noon time. Noon time. Noon time. We were there at noon every, every Wednesday. So are you, if you heard of Sunrise? I have. Okay, so that's another club that they need over the university club. Correct. Okay. Right. Was this one? Tell me more how you got your inspiration or what was the thought going into speaking today about being an American? Well, I have to admit that it's because of the campaign going on right now and all the There's a campaign. nasty assertions <laughs> that immigrants are dangerous, that they are potential terrorists, they, we can't accept them anymore, that we need to build higher walls and throw out all the country people in this country who somehow got here without papers. I find it very discouraging and I find it very un-American. And so, honestly, I was hoping that there was a subtle message that I was conveying in my speech today. And you just wonder how far, when it's going to end, at what level, oh, I don't like you because, and you start going down that slope. It's Yes, I, I, I do worry about that. I, I think that that's what has caused some countries to fall apart. Absolutely. And that's why we need to do our best to continue to appreciate uh, diversity and celebrate it, as I, as I said, so that we have a more flexible and integrated country. We really are unique. We are the only country in the world where 99% of the people our immigrants or came in as immigrants. Absolutely. Well, thank you again. <laughs> Abraham. 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 So now, if I would say, don't worry, you would say, be happy. There you go. <laughs> what a wonderful thing. So, where did you come up with the idea about being happy? Uh, to be honest, it just, I didn't have time to write a speech, so I just kind of came up with it on the fly. And that's why I'm kind of a little nervous, too. I just, I only had like 30 minutes to write it and then rehearse it. So it was just something that, that I, just anytime I see someone smile or anything, I, that's kind of a big motivator for me, too, bringing people, bringing smiles into people and just helping out, volunteering. Tell me more about that. You. Uh, volunteer a lot. I've seen on your uh, Facebook page you, you volunteer a lot. You do a lot of help around the community. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, that's where I met you the first time. Actually, even though we work, we used to work side by side. That's where I met you. We were at Maggie's place. Maggie's where, place. Uh, so tell them a little yeah, bit Maggie's about the place. Maggie's place is an organization for single pregnant women. They, it's pretty much housing for them. Uh, they gave them food, and then when I went in, it was just pretty much cleaning up for them, sweeping the floor, rearranging the fridge. Just basic uh, household household work. That absolutely a wonderful organization. Abraham uh, volunteers and helps out a lot in that situation. So you're now part of this club. Yes. Excellent. And then his next step is going to be at the district level. He's going to uh, he's going to apply to be an area director. So. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you. Hey, thanks a bunch. So Abraham.